first things first, we obviously have to pick out the outfits. And I had a cavity filling today, so my entire mouth is numb right now. Ugh, it feels so weird, but we will persevere and take these Instagram pictures. I'm slowly regaining feeling. Anyways, we are going to probably pick out like three to four outfits today and style them and make them look cute, match some locations with them, and get started on our day. So how I pick out these outfits is I just pick out like one thing that I specifically want to shoot or style. For example, I have been dying to style this green vest and after I pick out these like statement pieces, then I just start building outfits around them. So I have picked out three outfits that we're going to do and now it is time to turn this potato mess into a french fry. So honestly just for makeup, just do anything that makes you feel confident because when you're taking pictures, you want to exude confidence and just have your makeup and hair style in a way that you feel good about yourself, that you feel like a bad bitch and that's really all there is to do about that. So I'll see you back after I feel like a bad bitch. Okay, I'm done with my makeup. I feel like a little boy, but you know, I try to curl my hair like air, like without heat, but it got so like crinkly and gross, so I had to put it up. But let's show the first fit. So the top is for Expired Girl. I'm actually taking an Instagram picture for their brand. The bottom are just some low rise jeans from Miss 60. I got them from ThreadUp and my Steve Madden platforms that hopefully I won't break my ankle in. And also just a white bag. I'm gonna go with some silver jewelry and call it a day. So the first location is still in question because I did not plan this video out that well. But I'm planning on just driving around downtown and seeing what fun things there are there because I think that if you like drive in like a like you know any downtowns that you guys have near you, um, there will be like a lot of like cute places to take some pictures and everything. So let's go. In my last like how to take Instagram pictures video, I talked about how I really like to take pictures indoors. Um, Um, I talked about how I really like to take pictures indoors, um, but that's because it was winter time and Michigan and winters in Michigan's absolutely suck like I have said so many times on my channel, but um, in the summertime I like to take pictures outdoors just because the natural lighting is a lot better and you know there's not a lot of people around and you can eliminate the entire awkwardness aspect in which we love. So hopefully that um, we can find some private public spaces to take some pictures outdoors. But it's kind of cloudy today, so we'll see how good the lighting is. Um, but I will see you guys after I roam around for a bit and find a spot. Bye bye. So we are currently stopped in front of an ice cream shop. And you know, it doesn't hurt to get a few props edible props um, while filming and shooting. So I'm gonna get an ice cream cone and use that as a prop and a little bit of a snacky time after the shoot. So I, I think that there's just like a white wall with like the ice cream sign on it that I wanna take pictures in front of. But there's quite a lot of people here. It's a tad awkward, but you know, we shall, we, we shall conquer this fear together. You know, if you wanna take pictures in public, watch this video and we can do it together. Okay, so I got my ice cream, but suddenly so many people started coming to this little ice cream shop. It's okay, we got this. Mm, good. So one thing I would recommend you do if you struggle with posing is to go on Pinterest and make a list of all the poses that you see. So when you go out and take pictures, you can just look at your list and make sure that you hit all the poses so you aren't just like standing there with flailing arms and like an awkward leg, you know? I think this photo shoot was a fail. <laughs> I'm drinking my ice cream now. I think these photos turned out decently. The lighting could have been a lot better, but you know, I thoroughly enjoy the ice cream. So 10 out of 10 experience. Okay, so I changed outfits and I'm wearing this now. 
I am at this location outside, but it's just like I took some pictures there and they're like decent photos, you know? Like they're photos that you post onto Facebook, but they're not like Insta worthy photos. So I don't think I've been like driving all around trying to look for a good location outside and it's just like doesn't really match match my vibe so i might go like indoors to see if i can get a, a nice photo we'll see i'll show you where i was taking the photos Okay, so 30 minutes later, I have driven to my near and dear Asian grocery store because I wanted to take a picture next to a drink aisle. And let's talk about taking pictures at Asian grocery stores when you're not Asian. It's not a cute look to just take advantage of like someone's culture just for the aesthetic and like not stand up against Asian hate or like supporting Asian American issues. So to all you non-Asian people who go to Asian grocery stores for the hashtag uh, Asian aesthetic, please stop. But I have literally been going to this grocery store since I was like in fifth grade. So let's go in and I'm gonna show you what my favorite drinks are. I decided to be saucy today, pun intended, and pose in front of the soy sauce aisle. I'm not sure when my aesthetic became just like grocery store aisles, but you know, we are thriving. Ooh, and this is my favorite drink. It's basically just black tea lemonade, but it's super sweet. I really liked how these pictures turned out. I think the background worked a lot better than like the nature ones. Okay, so for my last outfit of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can take pictures at home. Because when I first started posting on Instagram, I would literally only post the pictures I took at home because it was quarantine and I had to stay at home. So honestly, your house has some good ass Instagram locations. So let's show the fit. I'm just wearing this white top from Motel Rocks and this skirt that I actually thrift lifted, I really like the pattern. So it used to be like a really long maxi skirt. So I just cut it and took it in a little bit. And I have some Steve Madden sandals and we're gonna try to take some cute Instagram pictures. Okay, so this is like the side door to my garage. And I remember when I first started taking pictures, I really liked like the whiteness of this uh, door. So I take a lot of pictures here. Obviously taking photos at home is a lot easier because you don't have strangers just like staring at you in this anxiety and awkwardness So you can be a lot more relaxed and take your time with your poses and just take more pictures in general When you're taking photos try to play around with the angles to see which one like makes you look better longer Just make like the overall picture a better picture. Sorry for this weird ass angle I didn't have anything to put my tripod on but definitely change your angle and the height of your tripod to get all of your best angles. I set angles way too many times. So another location that I'm gonna try to do is just the grass. I really like the aesthetic of just like laying on the grass. Um, I'm currently dying because of all the pollen and I have horrible allergies. And I'm sweating balls because it's like 90, 90 degrees. I'm, and just like, I'm just baking in the sun right now. But you know, it is all worth it. The real behind the scenes people. Um, but I'm just gonna lay on the grass. Hopefully it doesn't have dog shit on it. I honestly think the grass is a good background, especially if your aesthetic is more colorful. I am done being a bug for the gram. Thankfully, there was no poo-poo around me as far as I was aware of, but I also really liked how these photos came out. They were really summery and the direct sunlight just hits different, y'all. So now that we have taken all of our pictures, it is time for planning. I like to organize all my photos beforehand so I make sure my feed looks nice and visually appealing. If you want to keep your followers engaged, you should also be consistently posting, but that sometimes can be hard to juggle and I forget every once in a while. That's why I've discovered a platform called Later. Thank you to Later for sponsoring this video. But Later is a platform where you can plan, schedule, and analyze all of your posts. All I do is upload all the pictures that I want to post here and just drag the picture that you want to schedule into a specific time slot. You can also pre-plan your caption, comments, location, and tags. This scheduling feature is a must-have for me to just stay organized and on top of my stuff. All I do is just schedule all my pictures in bulk once a week and I am set on posts for that week. 
There are a lot more great features that Later has. You can see your analytics and how each of your posts are doing and really evaluate your Instagram strategy. I love Later because it really helps streamlining your social media strategy and makes Instagram marketing a lot more accessible. You can get one month of the growth plan for free if you use my code lindsayn 21 and click on the link in the description. With that being said, that is all I have for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and found some helpful tips on how to take Instagram pictures or at least had some fun watching it. And like always, I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.